Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year, even though it's 18 days past uh, the New Year celebration. It's been a while since I've uploaded something. Today, I want to talk about the WordPress Playground. I've covered Insta WP before in the past. It's a great uh, hosting platform if you want to host temporary sites, especially if you're developing, uh, trying new things out, or maybe training customers, and you don't want to go all in with a more expensive hosting account, though I do think they might be getting into hosting these days. Uh, Nick Diego, who I've covered his uh, plugin before, the block visibility plugin, he recently made this blog post about pulling in blueprints into the playground so that you can boot up a ready-made WordPress site. So let me just unpack that. This is a lot more technical. Um, if you're a developer, this is something that's very interesting to you. You can create a JSON file, host it on GitHub, and then link it into the playground and it will build you a WordPress website. Okay, that's like super advanced. I'm not gonna cover how to do that, but I wanna bring your attention to the WordPress playground because if you've always wanted to try out new versions of WordPress, play with some plugins, but you didn't want to install it on your own website and you certainly didn't want to add cost, maybe your hosting infrastructure for another website, you can go to playground.wordpress.net and spin up these free WordPress websites. It's an amazing technology. It's one to really keep an eye on because this is going to advance a lot more. <clears throat> I can see a world in a couple of years, maybe even shorter than that, where you're developing right inside of WordPress and then taking that development and bringing it to whatever host you want. You can almost do that right now. Let's dive into a couple key features to the playground. So like I said, you go to playground.wordpress.net. It creates this WordPress website right in your browser and you can do whatever you want with your WordPress site right here. In the upper right hand corner, there are some options. And the one that I would recommend uh, first and foremost, is enabling network access. And uh, if you wanted to add plugins, you could always upload them, but with the network access disabled by default, you wouldn't be able to search the repo and add plugins like you do with your own hosted WordPress website. So let's turn that on, network access. And if you wanted to play with well, either previous versions of WordPress, like you can go back to 6.0 at the time of this recording, or WordPress Nightly, you can enable WordPress Nightly and get the most recent version of WordPress. So you start to see all these things happening, especially if you're on the WP Minute newsletter, uh, you're hearing about some of the updates that are coming to WordPress, and you want to try that out, you can do it right here without affecting any of your WordPress website. So We've enabled network access, we've put on WordPress nightly, and we're just going to apply changes. <clears throat> Some of the parts of uh, the playground, you'll often run into a couple snags. Like I've noticed that sometimes this is slow to load, but then there's other moments where things are super fast. And I don't know all of the technology. I know it runs in the browser, so it's doing it all in your browser locally. Uh, and I don't know why like some components are slow and, and, and some aren't. So. We can also go into another menu in the upper right hand corner and if you're playing with stuff and you're adding uh, a bunch of plugins, you're playing with the theme and you build something that is like, okay, I just need to reset, you can literally reset your website by coming here and resetting that website uh, with a click of a button. That'll just refresh this right to its default state. This is really cool. You can download as a zip. So. If you wanted to try out a plugin or you already know like, hey, man, I want to play with that block visibility plugin, maybe a particular theme, you can download this instance into a zip file. And it's not all of WordPress, but it's the most important components to take what you built and load it up into another WordPress website. You can either come back and restore it right to a playground, or you could probably take those files and send them to your own experimental website or website hosted somewhere else because it's pulling down the content WP content folder, the database, and that's going to be like your plugins, your themes, those changes you've made here. You have to proceed with caution. It's not like you'd be able to just throw that into your WordPress website and it's just going to do it. Uh, but you could certainly do it from scratch if you were building a new website on your web hosting uh, provider import from GitHub. So when you click on this, you can actually connect a GitHub account. And if you're building stuff, you're a developer and you're hosting those files in GitHub, you can sync that right into this playground, no hosting uh, necessary, or export a pull request to GitHub, you can do that as well. Again, you'd have to connect up your, um, you have to connect up your GitHub account to do that. 
preview WordPress pull request. This is really interesting. Again, this is more on the developer side, but it is kind of cool to be able to look at GitHub and see from the pull requests happening a change, a modification, a bug report. And just with the URL, pull that pull request in here and boot it up into the playground. So if you saw something that somebody was testing, you're like, I want to try that too. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to download everything and do it. You can just bring that pull request in and then load it right up here uh, in the playground. It's fantastic. And this is really going to be sort of the future of WordPress development, in my opinion. Again, putting on my uh, tinfoil hat, my predictions for the future, because, uh, you know, we're in the early part of the year. I think that playground is going to be very important to learning, understanding, and even coding WordPress websites. But like everything else, you can go right into your WordPress website and start playing with it. Right now, you can see, learn more about version 6.5 because I'm running that nightly build. And you can just add things that, you know, you can, you never wanted to experiment on your own live site. So if I wanted to go to add new plugin, I could install Gutenberg. Give that a second to install. Sometimes, like, like I said before, it's a little slow. We'll activate it. We'll go to Gutenberg. Whoops, we'll go to uh, experiments, sorry. And then we will add in something like the new admin views. So we'll save that. Like right now I'm clicking on save. It's not refreshing like it normally does in my hosted version of WordPress. It's actually saving it. And then when I go to appearance and editors, uh, this is just like a little Easter egg uh, with Gutenberg with the upcoming version, uh, upcoming admin changes. You can actually see just a tiny portion of it right here. This is how pages are going to kind of look and feel in the admin side of WordPress in the future. And it's like this navigation, this website only has two pages, but you can see I could quickly search. Uh, I can filter by author and status. Uh, I can do a certain layout. I can do a grid layout and I can see all of my pages uh, in a grid if I wanted to. Uh, what else do they have? They have table. So I could see it in a table. So this is just me like a little Easter egg showing you that this is what pages are going to look like in the future. But the idea is you use Playground to do that so you don't have to do it on your own website. Uh, really fun stuff. I'd say that if you want to play with um, WordPress and you don't want to affect the changes on your own website uh, or your website changes, this is the place to do it. Check out playground.wordpress.net. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Brand new year. Hope to be doing more videos. See a lot of YouTubers giving up and I totally get it because it's, uh, it's a lot of work and you're sort of this always beholden to this YouTube algorithm. Uh, I'll have a Bricks live stream coming next week, depending on when you're watching this. It's uh, January 23rd, Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern. We're bringing on Dave Foy. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Bricks lately. If you like Bricks, let me know in the comments what you're doing with Bricks. Hope to see you at that live stream. And don't forget, the wpminute.com slash subscribe. Jump on that weekly newsletter. I send out a five minute uh, briefing every week about what's happening with WordPress, some of my opinions, some of my thoughts, and some very important links that go out every week. And then I have a lot of guest interviews talking about WordPress, talking about being a WordPress professional. Check it out, the wpminute.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.